Next, uh, we would like to proceed to, to the keynote speech, which will be presented by Minister Hiroshi Kashiyama of the Economy, Trade and Industry. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Hiroshi Kajiyama, Minister of the Economy, Trade and Industry. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to ISAM hosted by Nikkei in today. Uh, we are very pleased uh, that uh, ISAM, which was once postponed uh, due to COVID-19, is held uh, in this way today. And I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to all of you who have worked so hard uh, in its preparation. Uh, this uh, uh, ISAM will be held for the second time uh, following last year. Uh, since last year's uh, ISAM, uh, Japan has compiled an AI strategy centered on education reform and uh, research and development and social implementation. Uh, furthermore, uh, the G20 AI principles based on the values of human-centered AI use was formulated at the G20 chair by Japan. Against this backdrop, uh, based on these strategies and principles, uh, we are now entering a phase uh, of uh, uh, promoting social implementation uh, in the next phase. Uh, on the other hand, the spread of COVID-19 has resulted in a very large disruptive change in the world. Uh, this change has demonstrated once again that there is still room for humankind to further utilize uh, digital technologies. In particular, I believe that the impact the impact of the implementation of the AI technology on the economy and society is further increasing. Against this backdrop, I sincerely hope that the industry, academia, and government will be able to exchange views on AI and data uh, in the with corona and uh, post corona era uh, to overcome the difficulties faced by the world and uh, open up a new era for the future. In order to combat uh, COVID-19, expectations are running high for AI technologies and uh, data utilization. Now, more than ever, it is necessary to realize the reliable utilization of AI and data. I believe uh, uh, this is also reflected uh, in this year's th uh, sub-theme of pursuing human-centric uh, technologies. On the other hand, if you look around the world, uh, Japan today still has great potential. In today's society, where cyber and uh, physical uh, technologies are merging and various systems are intricately uh, intertwined, digital infrastructure is essential to promote uh, data collaboration for the utilization of AI and uh, uh, data to uh, fully take root in Japan. Digital infrastructure will unleash the capabilities of various companies. And so far, uh, Japan's uh, uh, digital infrastructure has been developed in a fragmented manner, vertically aligned by the type of business and uh, vertically aligned by different ministries. For example, collaboration has been hindered uh, because regulations are different uh, depending on what is manufactured and uh, the difference in the format of data in various factories. In light of the situation, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry launched the Digital Architecture Design Center in May this year with the aim of presenting a digital architecture that can be called a plan uh, to uh, enable systems to work together. In this event, I myself exchanged uh, uh, views uh, with the Leaders of startups uh, driving AI in Japan, Mr. Hirano, CEO of Cinnamon, and Mr. Nishikawa, Director of uh, Preferred Works. We discussed uh, what kind of architecture is required for the social implementation of AI. And I realized once again the magnitude of the role that the Digital Architecture uh, Dis Design Center uh, can play. I would like to accelerate uh, the development of uh, social systems in the era of AI and data through this center. Uh, in addition to the grand design of digital architecture, it is also very important to accelerate uh, research development uh, by uh, promoting uh, collaboration between AI venture companies with promising technologies and uh, large companies. Uh, so far, for example, development of AI systems necessary for uh, predicting uh, plant operating uh, conditions uh, using deep learning. Development of uh, drones and AI for imaging and unmanned uh, inspection of plant equipment. Development of uh, software for optimized uh, inventory and resource placement uh, in distribution centers. 
This is some of the examples uh, for uh, so the way we have supported uh, R&D activities. Going forward, uh, we will uh, continue to provide support uh, to promote the use of advanced technologies and big data utilization. In addition, uh, AISD, uh, the uh, National Institution of the Advanced uh, Industrial uh, Science and Technologies Artificial Intelligence Research Center, one of the public uh, research institutes at the core of AI research and development in Japan, is involved in the development of AI that can be that can understand human intentions and reliable AI that can be used. Efforts to standardize AI quality evaluation methods uh, are promoted. We are also working to solve problems when implementing AI in society. In addition, we are working toward the next fiscal year uh, to enhance the computational uh, capabilities of ABCI, AI-based uh, supercomputer that is open to private companies, and we will strengthen uh, Japan's AI development environment. In order to accelerate the use of AI through such business-to-business -business collaboration and research and development, the human resources uh, responsible for this uh, will be indispensable. However, Japan is expected to have uh, some 550,000 uh, shortage of the cutting-edge IT personnel who can respond to new technologies such as AI and IoT in 2030. In order to accelerate the development of such human resources on the part of uh, MITI, uh, we are engaged uh, in uh, practical human resources development called uh, the AI Quest. We conducted a demonstration last year, and this year we will expand further. Started a full uh, scale operation. Uh, METI will support uh, the development of AI a practical education. Finally, I believe it is important for uh, ISAM participants to expand your businesses uh, globally going forward. Uh, therefore, it is necessary to disseminate information on AI at a uh, global scale. I have heard that uh, there will be related sessions on in ISAM about uh, uh, global partnership on artificial intelligence or GPAI. GPAI was established in June of this year. The purpose is to realize the responsible development and use of AI globally. Experts from participating countries gather to discuss AI-related topics, and Japan is also a founding member. Uh, in the GPAI, ethics and principles were at the center of discussion, but uh, recently discussions are increasingly focused on AI governance in its implementation. Uh, Japanese experts are actively participating in this discourse. Through these activities, uh, Japan will globally communicate our AI initiatives. Against the adversity besetting the world today, I hope uh, ISOM uh, can trigger further development uh, in AI, both in Japan and globally. With that, I would like to conclude my remarks. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Minister Kajiyama, thank you very much.